Hi guys! Okay, I'm sorry I haven't filmed a video in a while. I know I've just been so busy with like school and work and like I'm not even at home morning tonight. So today I did have some time, but I'm actually running late to go pick up my sister. I'm gonna take her out to eat for her birthday and but I wanted to get something in because this is I have some free time and I need to make a video. So I'm gonna be doing my hits and misses. Honestly, I didn't hardly buy any makeup. I brought like a lipstick and the other day I bought an eyeshadow trio, another Sephora one, but I mean I really it was just like the other day, so I haven't really had a chance to really use it. And um <clears throat> so Basically, all the things I've been using this month are the exact same as my last hits and misses. Basically, still same favorites. Basically, just a couple items I added in here. I actually decided to add kind of like some skin care and hair care. Maybe you guys are interested in that. I don't know. But I do have some makeup items, some other, some nail polish, skin care, hair care, etc. So let's get started because I am running late. Um... Wow, this is dirty. Uh, I used to, I don't know if you guys remember or if I mentioned it, I used to use the Origins um, facial cleanser, the foaming wash, whatever. Um, but when I went to California, I picked this up at Sephora. It's the Clinique Liquid Facial Soap for the oily skin. And I used to use the Clinique actually before and I went back to it again and I have to say I like this a lot better than the Origins. And it's even cheaper. I feel like the Origins is a little aggressive for my skin it's a little if it makes it feel like very I don't know it just feels rough on my skin and this is a lot more gentle and it feels so refreshing you know when you put on like that minty lipstick or lip gloss on your lips and it just feels so refreshing I feel like this does this but to your face it's amazing I really like this I think it's great for oily skin it's gentle it's not too aggressive because I feel like sometimes for oily skin they do make them a little more like they're a little more harsh for your skin but I do have some dry areas especially like around my nose like right here and right here I've always had this this has always been a dry area so sometimes they're a little aggressive for my skin so I have to find a facial wash that works with my skin and that one does really well for hair care um, I actually use these products up around the same time I've been using the healthy sexy hair soy tri wheat leave-in conditioner and the macadamia nourishing leave-in cream and I just put these on right after I get out of the shower and just put this on first mix it into my hair and then spray this all over my hair and I feel like it just helps nourish it especially I cut my hair recently so I feel like it looks a lot healthier I guess I'll show it to you guys um, I actually cut it myself because I just don't trust hairstylists I don't know it's I guess a phobia I just every time I got in a haircut I've never really like loved it so I'm not, I don't want to spend like a hundred bucks on a haircut either, so this is kind of what my hair looks like right now. It's still like around the same length. I only trimmed it. I just trimmed the layers, so yeah, just so you know. I really like those products. I feel like they feel, make my hair feel so soft and it smells amazing, so uh, I definitely recommend those products. Um, nail polish wise, I actually bought this like the other day, but I really like it. I've been wanting a gray nail polish for the longest time, and this is from the new collection, limited edition collection by Zoya. I don't remember what it's called. It's their fall collection, and this is just called Newt. They have two gray nail polishes. This is the darker one. And then, I don't know if I mentioned this before. This is a nail polish by Essie, and it's in Stylenomics. Stylenomics? I don't know. And it's just supposed to look, it looks like a black, I know, but it's actually like a really dark greenish grayish green I don't know it looked green originally and if you see the ads it looks green but it's actually like a blackened greenish grayish green or greenish gray it's like I don't know but I like it I like dark colors on my nails but not black black because I feel like it's a little more too dramatic too in your face um but uh for my well basically the rest is like makeup related or makeup um I use the Benefit Professional when I choose not to use foundation, pretty much. So I feel like it mattifies my face. It just so you just put this on and throw out, throw on some translucent, my Makeup Forever HD powder and some concealer as well. Also, can't forget my concealer. 
and this one and I feel like I'm good to go for the day I don't need foundation so basically this is what I use when I don't use foundation but when I do use it I go back to my clear effects matte foundation primer for some reason I feel like it just works better with the foundation this one kind of feels like a foundation it's weird it's a little thick in a way it, you can't see it. it it's it goes into your skin it's like it feels fine on your skin but I just feel like it's a little thicker than this one and this one I feel like I just don't like to feel so so much cakiness going on and I don't know this is like thinner and it like just glides on and sinks into your skin and I feel like it works well with them with the foundation I feel like if I put a foundation over this it might make it feel a little thicker in a way I don't know but this is what I've been using with or without foundation uh, for foundation wise I guess I've been testing out two products so this is more like first impressions I guess if I like a product enough you guys will probably see it in the next hits and misses when if I purchase it and this is the Urban Decay Naked Foundation, and I am in 6.0. And this is the Kat Von D Foundation in number 56. Um, first impression-wise, I'm actually wearing the Kat Von D one right now, and I wore this one the other day. I'm liking the Kat Von, Kat Von D Foundation a lot better. Um, I don't know. I feel like it looks more natural. It does. It's a little thicker, actually, than the the, the, the Urban Decay one. I feel like I've never used the Revlon Foundation, actually. Well, I have. But it was too light. It was when I didn't know how to do makeup. It was like freshman year in high school. I don't know. It was when I was really sucky at makeup, okay? Like around high school time. I didn't really know how to do my makeup very well until the beginning of college. So um, this kind of reminds me of the smell and like it's very liquidy. I feel like it just reminds me of the Revlon Color State Foundation. Um, it also has like a gray cast on it, it like makes me look kind of washed out and pale. I really don't like foundations that have any kind of gray cast. It might be like your supposedly color match, but it looks just whiter, grayer for some reason, even though it's like supposed to be, it's the closest you can get to your skin color. I don't know. But this one I feel like, the Kat Von D one, I feel like it just blends in nicely. It's a little thicker, not thick, thick, but a little thicker and I also like that it's like a little more mattifying it's not matte like but it's it's more of a matte finish than the Urban Decay one I feel <clears throat> and then um, I've been trying out this Tarte bronzer and I'm actually wearing it right now and I've actually really been liking it I didn't think once I get stuck to something I kind of I'm kind of hesitant to try something else but I've actually really been liking this um, and this is the Tarte bronzer in Park Avenue Princess and it's getting pretty hot so I'll put my hair back up again and uh what was I saying yeah it's getting really hot um yeah I've been really liking this um it's just I feel like it's a little more pigmented than the NARS Laguna bronzer for some reason I just feel like it's a little warmer it's just darker but I still like it like with my NARS one I do feel like I do have to add a little more product which is good and bad because I do kind of like a lighter finish on my contouring but this one it's like this one you need less product do you know what I mean? they both have their benefits and I still like both of them, both of the finishes and I still love my NARS Laguna Bronzer and this one I'm still kind of like getting the feel for it but so far I'm really liking it and then finally I just have some oh wait no I have lip products and a mascara. Um, I, have to, I don't know if I mentioned this before, and I might have said that I didn't like it, and this is the Urban Decay Super Curl Mascara. Super Curl Curling Mascara. Oh, my bad. And this is actually kind of like a deluxe sample size, whatever. And I've actually really been liking it lately. This is like the first mascara I apply, and then I apply a different one. Just depends on what it is, what I feel like trying, what I'm just like, whatever. Just put on another mascara just to add a little more volume. And I've actually really been liking it. I feel like it does, it's a great priming mascara. I really don't know how to explain the fact that I like this. I've just been liking it for some reason. I don't know what it is. It's just pretty darn good. And damn. Okay, I'm probably running late, really, really late now. And then I've also really been liking... That was my nephew, just in case you guys know. Um, this is the Tarte lipstick in 
La Creme lipstick. I found out the name. It's La Creme. It's their new line of lipsticks, and this is it in the buff. I'm sure I've mentioned it in a video before, but um, this is the lipstick I've been really liking this one. Um, it's just a nude color. I guess you guys see. I don't know if I, what was it, what did I put on? I don't remember. So let's put this on. It's just really perfect nude lipstick for me. And then the lip gloss that I like to pair with it is this one by Urban Decay, the Lip Junkie Lip Wallflower. And if you guys go back to some of my older videos, I used to really be in love with this. And then I kind of stopped just because I started getting into more products and trying more things. So you kind of forget about a lot of your older products that you loved, but, you know, you just forget about them. But I'm still in love with it. I just forgot about it, I guess. So that's basically it. You probably will be seeing a haul soon and much better hits and misses next month just because I plan on doing some birthday shopping. And for some reason, I always get, you know, the extra money from your financial aid. You always get, I always get it in October for some reason. I don't know what it is. I don't know. Well, like end of September towards my birthday because my birthday is two weeks from today. And if you guys don't know, it's, it's on October 9th. So I plan on doing some shopping. I went a little clothes shopping just because I feel like I don't, I need some new clothes. I feel like I wear the same exact thing every day. So I did a little bit. I didn't buy that much though. And most of it was on sale because I'm not, I'm more of a makeup fan than clothes fan. So uh, that's it for my hits and misses this month. I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe and check out my other videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!